Maxwell Macmillan presents Tuning In the USA. Today on Tuning In the USA, Richard Stewart and his friend Andreas Pappas are in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville is the center of the country music industry. Outside a famous country music theater, they meet a musician. Jim Conaway is his name, and he gives them a very interesting invitation. I think you turn here, Richard. Yeah, there it is. Yes, that's it. The Grand Ole Opry. It's a very famous theater in Nashville. Almost all the great country and western musicians play concerts here sometime. I think there's a recording studio here too. Really? They record songs here? I didn't know that. I thought it was just for live concerts. Shall we take a look? Do they give tours to the public? I think so. What time do you think the tours start? I'm not sure. It's ten o'clock now. We can ask this fellow sitting with the guitar here. Excuse me. Can we ask you something? Go right ahead. Do they let people tour the Grand Ole Opry? They sure do. But the building is still closed. It'll be open in just a few minutes, and the tours start around eleven o'clock, I think. Do you work here? Sometimes. Maybe you can answer a question then. I'll try. We know about the theater inside, but is there a recording studio here too? There sure is. I make a lot of my records here. Really? You're a professional musician? Yep. I'm Jim Conaway. I don't believe I got your names. Richard Stewart from New York. Andreas Papas from Greece. Greece. You're a long way from home. What brings you to the Grand Ole Opry? I'm just traveling to learn about the USA. And I'm taking photographs all around the country for a book about Americans. Well, this is a good place to learn about Americans. Why is that? Well, how should I say this? A good country song can give you a clear picture of an American's heart. Country music is all about showing feelings, simply and honestly. Andreas is very interested in American music. He has a radio show back home in Greece. It's called Music from Around the World. Maybe you'll play one of my records sometime. I'd like to. I'll tell you what. I've got a record to make in a few minutes. You seem interested. Why don't you come in and watch us work? Really? We'd love to, Mr. Conaway. Call me Jim. Jim is going to work on a song, but we're going to study for a minute. We often don't say every word clearly. Listen. Maybe you'll play one of my records sometime. Maybe you'll play, or maybe you will play. Listen again. The building is still closed. It'll be open in a few minutes. It'll be open, or it will be open. Listen. Why don't you come in and watch us work? Really? We'd love to, Mr. Conaway. We'd love to, or we would love to. I'd love to tell you more, but there's no more time. It'll have to wait. I'll talk to you later. And now, Act Two. This time on Tuning In the USA, Richard Stewart and Andreas Pappas are in Nashville, Tennessee, visiting a famous theater called the Grand Ole Opry. 
It's a place for country music concerts. Many musicians also come there to use its fine recording studio. One country musician, Jim Conaway, is recording there today. And Richard and Andreas are in luck because Jim is taking them into the recording studio to hear the making of a song. Here's the recording studio. I record a lot of my songs here. Good morning, Louise. Oh, hi, Jim. How are you doing? Just fine, thanks. What are you working on? I'm working on yesterday's tape. I brought some friends to watch the session today. Hi, fellas. This is Richard. He's a photographer from New York. Nice to meet you. And this is Andreas. He's here all the way from Greece. Hello. Welcome to Nashville. Are you a recording engineer, Louise? That's right. I'm the engineer. I set up and work the equipment. You know, the tape recorders and the microphones. She does more than that. She's wonderful with this equipment. I always work with Louise. With other engineers, you can play a song one way, and the record can sound totally different. But with Louise, the record will be just like hearing me play. Why don't you show him, Jim? Sing a line. Okay. Sometimes I lie awake at night. Now it sounds this way on the tape. Sometimes I lie awake at night. That's me, all right. But you add a lot of other instruments to it. That's right. That's called multi-track recording. Different instruments on different tracks. Let them hear the other tracks, Louise. Okay. Here are the drums. And here comes the bass guitar. If I could hold you in my arms. You hear that? It's a big sound now. I couldn't make that alone. This technology is fantastic. You can add all kinds of interesting sound. And I'll bet the big sound helps to sell your songs. That's right, boys. But it's still me. Simple and direct. That's the beauty of the music. They say that singing is One way to say hello in English is to say hello, simple and direct. Then we may say, how are you? And we may answer, fine, how are you? But there are other ways to say hello. Good morning, Louise. Oh, hi, Jim. How are you doing? Just fine, thanks. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Go ahead. Say it. How are you doing? This is very relaxed. I don't usually say this to my boss. Oh, here's my boss. Hi there. How are you doing? I mean, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. My boss is not very relaxed. That's all for now. Hope you'll join us next time on Maxwell Macmillan's Tuning In the USA.